Here's a keyboard case with a touchpad for your iPad Air 4th generation or the 5th generation. This uh, keyboard case also has a backlight display too. On the keyboard you can also change the colors on here as well. And you can see this rotating screen. Pretty cool right there. But let me go ahead and take this apart first and I'll show you what it looks like when you actually get it. So when you take it out, you got to take off this side here first. And then this side here is kind of hard to take out, but you got to kind of put some push, push some pressure up here. Just kind of move it up a little bit right there. Let me go ahead and pull this out. And this is exactly how it comes. But the iPad in here looks like basically looks like a uh, a uh, MacBook. And you can see everything on here. You got some rubber footing on here. You got a little pencil holder on here as well. You can put the pencil on there. You can put it up here on the magnet. I'll show you that in one second. But you can see the keyboard. You do have power on and off button right there. You have a uh, USB-C charging port right there. Here's the cable it comes with a USB-A to a USB-C. And let me go ahead and pop this back on here. I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom on like that first. And I'm going to put the top on here. As soon as I pop that on here, now you can see up here the buttons, the uh, the case here covers the volume up and down rockers. You can see that the uh, power button here is exposed. And really quickly I'll show you what it looks like closed. And of course with the pencil, I mean you can put it up here on the magnet. So if you're, I mean you can put it up there, but if you're going to carry this anywhere, then I would recommend because the pencils can come off easily. Just go ahead and use this little side holder here. Okay. And let me go ahead and open this up. Okay, so I disconnected it from the Bluetooth, so I'm gonna go ahead and pair it again. So first thing is let's go ahead and turn this on and then we can go ahead and pair it, okay? So the power button is here. We're just gonna press and hold there. And let's go ahead and let this turn on. All right, and now you can see what we wanna do is put it in pairing mode, okay? So the pairing button is right here the top right hand side. So I'm just going to go ahead and press and hold that. I'm going to wait till it starts blinking down here. So press and hold that. Now I can see the blue light dink blinking right there. Okay, so it's in pairing mode right now. I think we have to do three minutes, up to three minutes. But anyway, so from here, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to your Bluetooth. And there it is. So it's iPad dash keyboard. Let's tap on that right there. We should get a pairing request right there. Bluetooth pairing request. I'm going to tap on pair right there. And voila, you can see that we are in. If I want to swipe to the left or right, I can use these two fingers. Swipe left to the right. Uh, if I want to minimize everything, you can click on the escape button here. Uh, also, if you want to go ahead and scroll uh, like down or whatnot, just two fingers again, okay? So you can go down two fingers. If you want to move left or right, use two fingers, okay? And I can go ahead and minimize all of this right here. And let me show you the backlight display in one second, but also let me show you what you can do with this, okay? So we can turn this over. We can turn it over like that. We can even lay it flat, just like this. And also take note that we have this rubber pads on here too. You can see it right here. And we also have some right here as well, okay? So when we close it, we're not gonna scratch your screen or anything like that. This also has the auto lock feature, so you don't have to lock your um, iPad. As soon as you go ahead and close it, it's going to go ahead and turn off. Let me go. Okay, so it's off right now. And then I open it. Oh, there it is. It's back on. And, of course, you can go ahead and lay it like flat like this as well. Okay? Or we can just switch it around like this and just use the, uh, the iPad uh, by itself like that. And let me show you the keyboard here. So you can light up the keyboard and you have some shortcut functions right here, okay? So the first one here is turn on and off backlight or adjust brightness. The second one here is switch the uh, backlit color and you have different ones down here. So let's try this one here, okay? So uh, turn off uh, backlight or adjust brightness, okay? So I press the FN plus this key right here. So FN, hold down FN and the command, it gets a little bit brighter. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. And, Another brightness. 
now it's even brighter. I don't think you can see that in the video, but you can see right there. Okay, now also, now I'll leave it at the brightest. Now we press F, FN again key and we go to the next one, which is the second one here. We can change the uh, backlight um, color. So FN and then we'll go to the second key here and I can tap it and you can see it's changing colors. I don't know if you can see that on the camera here. So FN and then this right here. Kind of see. I mean, different colors there. And then we can go ahead and turn it off completely like that, or we can brighten it. Another bright. That's the brightest. Turn it off one more time. Just like that. Anyway, here you go. Nice clean case here.